What's going on Rocket Powered Sound Designers? In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the one trick that you need to know in Serum to make unique bases and ultimately set yourself apart in this generic industry. So guys, stick around to the end of the video and I guarantee you, you will be thankful for watching this long because guys, this video is insane. One of the most valuable things on the channel and <laughs> this is something that nobody has ever done on YouTube. So stick around for it. By the way, make sure you turn on post notifications because tomorrow, Friday, yes, we're doing our first ever live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're gonna be doing a couple song uh, reviews and also a, a sound recreation, you know? So stick around for that. You're definitely gonna wanna tune in. It's gonna be dope. First live stream. Anyways, without further ado, enough with the rambling. Let's get straight into this. Now, so to start things off, we're gonna be using something that isn't very unique at all, and that is the FM from B. Now, guys, stay with me here. Don't click off, don't get discouraged because we're gonna be doing something so crazy that you probably have never even touched it in Serum. So, uh, the FM is just to get us started. Now, I like running basic shapes here, and what the basis for this trick is, is starting off with something that you already know works, sounds good with FM, or it doesn't even have to be FM, but you know, that's for later in the video. Uh, stick around to the end, guys. Don't be skipping around. Anyways, I am I know, for an example, Square Waveform X Sawtooth, or the square is a host, and intercepting the signal from oscillator B is going to result in a sound that is very, Harmonic is very rich in harmonics and a lot of artists actually use this setup quite a bit now Like I was saying that's a very ge generic sound And once I turn it up two octaves You're gonna be like okay Shane I've heard this all over SoundCloud now What are you gonna be doing to make this unique? We're gonna be going into the signal oscillator, which is oscillator B and we're gonna be making a few changes here now first things first this button up here is going to immediately take this waveform and then um, convert it into the FFT editor so if we press this button wave to FFT you're gonna realize we can zoom out here or we can zoom in and it makes it really easy now with the new serum update that we could easily switch between oscillator A and oscillator B um, but as you can see guys we have a series of bins. Now there are 512 bins on the in the, these rows here. There's a top row and a bottom row. And I'm gonna be getting into that right now. Now don't be right now, you're probably like, okay, what the hell? Uh, guys, when I first didn't understand this, I was like kind of blown away. I was almost baffled, didn't even know what to do. But hear me out, it's actually not too difficult to understand. The top bins represent frequencies or the harmonics in the waveform. Okay, so if I were to put this to a basic sign, we can go ahead and convert this into the FFT editor, and you're gonna realize, okay, right here. So the FFT basically is a series of bins or our makeup of a sign. So uh, all the gray highlighted areas are all different octaves of the sign. <laughs> Now keep in mind we are running FM from B still, so this is the signal processing through that square waveform. So the top are the harmonics or the frequencies. The bottom is the phase offset. So if I were to put this at around 50%, you're gonna realize, boom, waveform is flipped. Pretty simple, right? Now, um, as I was saying, these are all sine waveforms. So what we end up doing is we have to convert this into a uh, into the FFT. It's not as simple as just kind of drawing all these because look at how complex that is. That's 512 individual bins. Now, where does the uniqueness coming in and kind of creating your own style off of this? I'm gonna be showing you right now. We can kind of work together here and see what we can do to actually make something sound cool. <laughs> Okay, now small adjustments like I said. I kind of want to maintain that nice harmonic pitch that we have. And the more you turn this up, each of these bins up on the top row, it's the, uh, it increases the amplitude. And the same with the, uh, the phase offset. 
And the more you turn it up, the more phase off that you have. So. Although the peak is found at around 50%, it starts and then it curves all the way back down to where you started from. Okay, so a lot of this is guess and check. And if you want me to do a full video on uh, the FFT editor, let me know in the comments. But for now, let's go back. I'm gonna skip, out, skip ahead a little bit. Okay, so this is what I ended up with. It's just a very simple sound like this. Definitely something, if you add in some distortion, it could definitely come out like a trampa sound, stuff like that. And uh, especially like what I was saying, this isn't just restricted to FM. We can turn up the level now and see what we came out with. This is all the sound sounds like. Pretty interesting. So, like I said, this looks exact. It, it looks nothing like a sawtooth waveform. But guess what? It sounds the exact same, guys. It's completely up to you how you choose to make the sound. Now, I hope that you found this tutorial entertaining or educational. Hopefully, both. Because I thought this was such a cool technique that I actually used myself, and I just had to share it. Any guy, anyways, uh, without further ado, my name is Shane Gregoire from Rocket Powered Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next video.